Hey everyone and welcome back to another episode of Tacky Tuesday. If this is your first Tacky Tuesday, I definitely encourage you to hit that subscribe button because I do come out with one every single week. And this week we're going to be talking all about ventricular triplets. So before we get into what a ventricular triplet actually is, let's talk about what a PVC is. A PVC, or a premature ventricular contraction, is a beat that is fired too early from the bottom chambers of the heart, also known as the ventricles. A ventricular triplet, also known as a salvo, is three PVCs in a row without pause in between. A few characteristics about the ventricular triplet. The rate is completely determined by the underlying rhythm. Regularity is determined by the underlying rhythm, but the triplet is probably going to make it irregular. Your P wave, there is not going to be a P wave with the PVC. The PR interval won't be present because the P wave is not present. And the QRS complexes are very much present and they are wide and there are three of them in a row. And three of them in a row is also called a salvo. And salvo has a different meaning. It also refers to a rapid discharge of several guns and very similarly to the heart it is referring to rapid discharge of impulses at the ventricles of the heart some of the causes and risk factors for a salvo is the same as a pvc so hypoxia lack of oxygen heart disease heart failure heart attack an electrolyte imbalance can cause pvcs alcohol stimulants and tobacco pain sepsis chest trauma, hypovolemia, hyper or hypoglycemia, and thyroid abnormalities. Some of the signs and symptoms that your patient may experience, they may be completely asymptomatic, but if they are experiencing symptoms, they could have fluttering in the chest, palpitations, dizziness or syncope, chest pain, and or shortness of breath. Let's look at a quick example of a ventricular triplet on a strip. Okay, taking a look right here, you see three obvious PVCs in a row, and that is a triplet. So I have my own strip where the patient was having short runs of VTAC, and I'm going to show it to you. It's pretty messy looking, so forgive me for that. This patient actually momentarily went into VTAC and came out of it and was just having constant PVCs. She was very ill. I mean, there's lots of artifact. The patient was moving around, and we were bumping down the road. You can see three PVCs right in a row, and that is going to be a triplet. A few of the positive possible EMS treatments out in the 911 EMS setting. Obviously get a 12 lead in vitals. A 12 lead is going to show us or even a 4 lead is going to show us that the patient is experiencing triplets. Oxygen is vital in these situations. IV access, a blood draw if you are permitted to do that. And you want to treat your patient's complaints. So why did your patient call 911? Ask them questions, get a great history. You want to search for underlying causes and report your findings to the hospital. And then you want to ask your patient, what are they feeling? When did this start? Have they always had issues with PVCs. And always remember that three PVCs in a row is considered a short run of VTAC. So if this patient is very unstable, it may not be unwise to just go ahead and put the pads on them just in case. But there are some patients that are going to be completely asymptomatic. Treat your patient. If your patient is talking to you, ask them questions see what their complaint is, and determine in your scope what you can do to help. All right, guys, that's pretty much all I have for ventricular triplets and or a salvo. I hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you next week. Bye.